So we have Smart Range. Today what you see here is called Smart Range. It's a new range that we believe can solve 90% of the sealing and bonding works on site. Today I will explain to you what is silicon, what is acrylic, what is PU and what is hybrid. All these are referred to sealants. It's like when you say Pampers, it's actually a brand, right? But what you refer is diapers. So people when say silicon, silicon is actually referred to sealant. So in fact, behind sealants, there is four main technologies. So all I need to you, all I need to you to know today is what is the characteristic of each of them. Only then you will know where to use and how to use. And when you see the problem, then you quickly identify what are the product. So let's start with silicon range. So silicon range, I will put it very simple. First, why silicons is the most popular or most, I would say, widely used in Malaysia. Because 40 years ago, the first type of silicon going in Malaysia is silicon. 40 years ago. So when people use silicons, people will tend to say, hey, have you silicon that? Ah? Have you silicon that? Ah? Have you silicon this? Ah? So they will use the word silicon to do the sealing works. So in fact, you must know silicon is just one of the technologies for you to choose when you need to do sealing works. So let me go through with you certain point about silicon. Silicon is a very good product. It's a raw materials that a big boys are doing. So silicon are very good in UV resistant. Secondly, silicon is good in uh, waterproof because if characteristic is hydrophobic. You all know what is hydrophobic? So let me take an example. If this surface is a hydrophobic surface, I put a water here, the water will become like a droplet. Okay? So when I move the panels, the droplet will go away. So dia tak sayang dengan itu, I Okay, this is called hydrophobic. Lah. So when you know silicon is hydrophobic, can it paint? Cannot, right? Because whenever I paint, the paint will become droplet. Nice or not? Not nice. Can can adhere or not? Cannot. Because it's not it's not It's hydrophobic. So So another point, if you know this is hydrophobic, silicon is hydrophobic, can we do on a wet surface? Or not? No. Because it look, works like a barrier in between the substrate and the silicon. So that is why we don't use that's why in the first place, remember what I say, I don't want you to go tell people I do sell bendable silicons because in the silicon world, there's nothing is bendable because you know the characteristic is hydrophobic. So now very easy, in terms of the world of silicons, now we know it's very good UV resistant, very good waterproof. Now we need to know what are the types are inside, right? So in Malaysia context, uh, we always refer silicon in two ways. One is asam, acetic. Bau asam. What is neutral? How do we determine? How we decide this thing is asam, this thing is neutral? Because of the mas masam? Because of when we say the sealant itself, when it cures, when it cures, when I do my sealant already, how it cures is actually take the moisture in the air to cure. When you take the moisture in the air to cure, it release what? It release acid means it's acetic. It release non-acid like alkoxy, oxime, it will be neutral. Even though for PU, for acrylic, for other things, they are actually neutral cure. Only acetic silicon is acetic cure. Because when it's cure, it's release acid. That's why we call it acetic silicon. So now People will say, why we need to have acetic and why do we have neutral? Because acetic is the uh, most popular and most widely sell in Malaysia. One, one thing it is called is very economical. You will notice what other brands are doing are very economical. By right, by right, acetic silicon should be very versatile, can be used on many places. But because of its characteristic, is acidic, it cannot use at metal. It will become karat. Okay, one thing. Second thing, it will be very fast and it will be very difficult at here on concrete. 
So what? Where? Where can it adhere? One aluminium, ceramic tiles, gacha, enamel woods. Those shiny, shiny woods already have the coated. That's all. And why people want to use that? Because it's very fast to cure. Very fast to cure. Let me point out certain selling point of S301. One thing about acetic silicon, if the quality itself is sustainable as justifiable, in fact, the shelf life of acetic silicon must more than 12 months. Must more than 12 months. Huh? This is one thing. Secondly, when you do a lot of acetic silicon, you will deal with kaca, glass to glass joint. Glass to glass joint, if you have swinging there like that, you need to have a very high tensile strength. And S301 have the highest tensile strength amongst competitors. Last but not least, what contractors are eyeing with acetic silicon is fast cure. It's very fast to cure. So their job is very fast. They can do more job in one day with acetic silicon. So that is why ours, ours silicon, we have a positioning. We say this is 18 months shelf life from the manufacturing date. We will do 280 ml, not gram, net weight, which is the content is 280 ml. What is that so important? Let me tell you, if today I use 300 gram, can you tell me how much you can apply for a 10 times 10 mm gap? Difficult. Why? Because in physics world, if you, if you have 280 gram, first thing I will identify whether this is gross weight or net weight, correct? If I need to check is gross weight or means you already include the cartridge as well. So I berat ini dulu kosong mie. Then I find out, oh, this cartridge oh, got 30 gram. Oh. So I minus off. Oh. So I left how many? 270 gram, right? So 270 gram, oh, your one is, is diluted one. Oh. Diluted one, the density is lower, right? So I times 0 0.9. So I left how much? 0 point some, uh, 200 something. So definitely less than 280 ml. So when I ask you, tens times tens mm gap, how many you can do? You can't answer me because you don't know density. You don't know whether this is gross weight or name weight. And when you do the plunger, the inside one is very deep. So will the volume higher or this volume higher? This volume higher, right? Because you, this one you can confirm is net weight 280 ml. So if today got a 10 pint, 10 mm, 280 ml, how many you can do? 2.8 meter. Rule of thumb. You just divide by 10 times 10. You have a 20 times 10, 1.4. That will be a very easy rule of thumb. But if you don't worry, I, I, won't, I won't ask you to calculate that because we have a calculator for that. Yes, we have an app for that. That's why our acetic silicon stands differently among in the market. Uh, we have and one thing I want to share with you today if one customer come in and say I want to do aquarium for my fish tank which product you recommend acetic or non-acetic no. non-acetic right this is the skeptical thinking because acid I'm gonna kill my fish right uh, no uh, you must use acetic you cannot use neutral 100% cannot use why because neutral silicon mostly in Malaysia are oxime based. Oxime based. Oxime based means when it's cured, it releases oxime. It's a chemical compound. And this chemical compound is fish killing compounds, fish killing substances. But acetic, no. So that's why you see a lot of uh, brand when they sell, they're actually selling acetic for aquarium. So you must remember. And this thing very good for aquarium. Why? Because the silicones is very good waterproof for that. Secondly, the 20 mega Pascal tensile strength will hold your tank very strongly together. That's why it's very good for aquarium. Okay, so that will be a in a nutshell, it's a very unique product that stand among in the competitors for S301 as acetic. Other than that, our silicone we have only one acetic right now. The rest will be neutral. But all our neutral silicone is got to do one one got objective one every identifier one purposes 
so you will very easy to learn. Okay, let me go through. Uh. Now I have two types of these two types, S736 and S548 are actually for weather seals. One we call glazing, what we call weather seal, S736 and S548. Both of them are S uh, are neutral silicon. One of the characteristics of all these high modulus silicons uh, is that they are take longer time to cure. But they are also very high in tensile strengths, very good in movement capabilities. What is movement capabilities? Like how much you can move when you have the substrate. Okay, let me take an example. If you have a substrate like that, you want to do a gap in between. Let's say this is a 50 mm gap. Okay, 50 mm gap. This 50 mm gap, if you have 50% movement capability, I ask you how many is 50% of 50 mm? 25, correct? So when I have a 50% movement capability, means within this 50 mm, I can move 25, 35, like this. Huge knot, a lot. Eh? So if a building moves like that, you're scared, not? You're scared, right? So it's actually a much higher specs comparing with what we need today. So that's why sometimes if you have this project, this is project grade, architectural grade, because it has all the certs that you need perfectly for glazing, like all this dilatation joint. And one thing I want to highlight is that for acid thick silicon, it cannot adhere on concrete, mark, but neutral can. Neutral can adhere on aluminium, glass, as well as concrete. So you have no problem do as a weather seal outside, as long as you don't need, don't need to paint. Okay, so, so the first question you want to ask customer is, when you want to seal, you ask where you want to seal. If you say outside, okay, outside. Where, or how big is the gate? Or 20 mm times 10 mm, okay, good. So do you need to paint? I need to paint. Oh, sorry, silicon is not suitable. We have other technologies. So you see now, you know already. You won't say, uh, maybe silicon can't, no. Because you now know silicon cannot be painted. So you can, you, you, you can quickly identify what other product you'll be using. Okay? So you look yourself much professional. You know your things, knows your product. Okay? So now S736 and S548, what are the main differences? The performance wise, this is 50% movement capabilities. This is 25% movement capabilities. 25% enough or not? Enough. Most of the architects ask for 25%. They no need for 50. They no need for 50. But why there is a 50%? How lean? No lah. <laughs> because they sometimes a lot of uh, competitors they want to push up, make the barrier higher, make people hard to go in to the games. So they want to make it at 50%. But this is not a very difficult thing to post. I would say. The most difficult thing is to let you all understand what is the product. Okay? But many of them fail to do that. Okay, so when 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 we have all this 548 and S736 is meant for exteriors or even interior also can, but mostly are exterior when it doesn't need to paint. Do you want to do as a perimeter joint? You want to do as a gutter joint, outside one? Can use this. And bear in mind, it's high modulus. High modulus. I will explain what is high modulus. High modulus means that if you have a sealant, if I use a strength to pull it to the 100%, how much strength I need to use in order to I determine this is high modulus or low modulus. If I use kekuatan yang besar, like 0.4, more than 0.4 Newton, this is high modulus. It's less than 0.4, then it's low modulus. So what, in, in, in simple form, what is, what is, uh, how do I describe all these things? One is softer law, one is harder law. But does it mean Harder is low movement capabilities. No, it only means that how soft and how hard only the characteristic. And why we need high modulus for weather seal? Others people won't tell you this, huh? Because very difficult to understand. Because when you have silicon, if I do a small cut, huh, I pull, it will snap pop, like rubber band. Correct. So, do I need something that very easy to pull or very difficult to pull? Very difficult cut. That's why we need high modulus. Huh? So that's why we need high modulus for exteriors. Okay, that will be the reason. The rest will be low modulus. Okay, now I'm saying this is for outside weather seal glazing 
or this perimeter joist can. Now we go into other segment already. Let's say toilet, kitchen, sanitary. What do you use? We use S546, kitchen and bathroom. What is so different about this, Herman? Uh, uh, when I when I introduce this kitchen and bathroom, people always tell me they cannot guarantee me for empty mold. At the end of the day, you still get more. Why I still want to buy that? Yes, you are correct. No one will guarantee you for empty mold for one year, two years. No one. Because the way we use the toilet is very different. Do you like to wash your toilet? I would say Malaysians are Malaysian context. When you wash, uh, you will make it dry or not? You will make it dry? Uh? I won't. Uh. Basa basa one. Uh. Every time you go to the toilet, all basa basa, right? Is you keep washing your, your toilet. Uh. So, one thing we wash toilets, another thing we don't keep it dry. Last thing we use a lot of detergent to wash it. So, what happened to all this silicon? The main differences of S546 with other neutral silicon is that that is fungi side. That other ubat and call are fungi side. Ubat ni it kills most of the mold. So if you wash it with Corex, with all this sabun sabun, who will die? Fungi side will die. If fungi side die, who kill more and did more for you? Who kill more for you? So it will like normal kind of a uh, sealant. So that's why after you use like one or two years, you will see the mold come back grow again because the funky side okay right? but does it mean it doesn't work how do we prove it works yes we still can prove it works when we when we sell this before we sell this we have to do a test called ASTM G21 ASTM G21 you put your S546 into a chamber full of mold and with very high humidities comparing with a sealants also in the same conditions full of mold high humidity but without funky side 546 without funky side reference then they start to do after two weeks or three weeks they will check which one grow more this one all black this one got one or two dot so they will categorize this or uh, zero one two three four this is what which categories if you have it seen it uh you cannot see any more there or even one dot or two dot it will be zero and one the rest is two three four depends how many of the more so our aim is go to zero and one so this is part G21 with 0 and 1. So which means it works. It's just that you don't guarantee people's uh, any uh, ta, akan, ak, ada mume. No one in the in the Malaysian market will guarantee that. If yes, you go and buy their product. Roofing S551 and gutters, one of the important topics that I want to share with this is that because in this market I find out when I come back from Malaysia, I've uh, come back from Singapore to Malaysia, I saw a lot of people use uh, linseed oil, things like awning cork to settle a lot of things in the roofing. Do you know what is awning cork? When I ask people, uh, this awning cork, is that silicon or not? They tell me yes. I say no, this is not silicon. Awning cork, if you read behind their, their TDS, their technical data sheets, it's actually linseed oil made of linseed oil. What is linseed oil? In short, uh, minyak sayo. So they put some polymer fillers inside and mix, mix, mix. That's why when you do do the awning cork, it cannot be cured one. And it actually can wash off with waters if you have a very high pressure water to wash. You cannot tahan one. So imagine that on your roofing after times of shine, uh, sunshine, after times of wind, after times of uh, rains, will it be durable? One. That's why people will say, oh, how come I do all this already, I still got leaking? Sir? Because not the right product. So when these times, when these things happen, old days, uh, people don't have choice uh, because all is on in common, correct? So now you have S551, silicon. Come back to the characteristic of a silicon. Silicon is high UV resistant, good waterproof, got movement, capable, able to take movement. Because all this, all this in the building, uh, top is actually yang gerak berterbesar, correct? So that's why roofing got a lot of movements. So we need something flexible. The awning cord got flexible or not? Flexible. Why? Because it doesn't kill. Ma. 
he keeps doing like that. Uh. If you go and play, uh, it's like a mud, you know. That's why this is how we settle all the more expensive problem. So what, what happens if you use this adhesion on where? Whatever you see on the roof. PVC la, concrete la, metal flashing la, uh, stainless steel, stainless steel gutter, la, all these can happen. Neutral kill, non-corrosive to metallic surface. Permanently elastic. And what is so suitable? Because on roofing, do you need paint or not? No ma? That's why. Good UV resistant, good waterproofing, no need paint. Oh, so this is the best product. One thing you need to take note, just now when I say these two products, uh, S546 and S736, uh, they are neutral silicones, which takes longer time to cure. So we know that when we design this product, we want to make it faster to cure. Because why? Because in Malaysia context, uh, people will baka baka sampah la. People when do silicon con, they will rock out, rock out la, correct? So when you, on the roofing, the harbour also big. The dust also very big. So that's why all this will max the sealants contaminated when you do. So the lesser time you have, the, the faster time you cure, the lesser time is contaminated. You remain as good as possible. Okay? So, and it's also very, one thing to note is, silicon is a very good product for temperature resistance. Okay, temperature is can up to 150 Celsius. So if above uh, got 150 Celsius, you die. Uh. <laughs> so it means you can tahan up to more than what you can extend. Uh. So rule of thumb of silicon is that is highest in UV resistant, is hydrophobic. For acidic, you remember it cannot adhere on porous substrate. Okay, it's very good on glass. So the rest neutral silicons have its own purpose for roofing, for exterior weather seals, for toilets. That's all. Very easy to understand. So when people ask you, come into your store, I want to buy silicon. You will ask first question you ask, where do you want to apply? If you say, oh, I want to apply in the toilet. Oh, I got 546. I want to apply for my aquarium. Oh, I got 301. I want to apply for my, uh, I want to apply for my exterior. Oh, if for exterior, then you will ask, uh, your exterior means you are apply a where window perimeter do you need to paint or not yes i need to paint then can you apply can you recommend silicon cannot because silicon okay you will learn now so you will know where which what to use okay